If you were ever in an area of absolute quiet, still your breathing and move not a muscle. After a few seconds, you will notice that the silence has a sort of sound of its own. A kind of empty ringing tone. This is not unique. Everyone will hear this, given the proper setting. An informed person will tell you that your brain is trying to interpret the lack of stimuli through your hearing. It creates a bit of a filler sound. This ringing sound actually serves a more archaean purpose. Covering up a noise we are not meant to hear. This noise is not impossible to hear. And if you are persistent, you can effectively break the cover-up sound. The next time you are silent and hear the ringing, shout at the top of your lungs for about half a minute, then be abruptly silent. It will be different for everyone. Some will hear nothing different for dozens of tries. Others may pick up on soft murmuring. A special few auditory heroes might clearly make it out on the first attempt. What you will hear is a voice that relays an account of events about to happen in the immediate future. It's like a sportscaster relaying the events occurring 10 seconds into the future. As time goes on, you will be able to make out this voice under increasingly noisy circumstances, to the point that it can be heard at any time just by concentrating. Such ability would doubtlessly be invaluable, no? You will be able to react to an immediate danger, relate to people around you with greater ease, no one would ever surprise you. Now of course you are wondering what sort of horrible catch this ability entails. Perhaps the tone of the voice is so horrible that it will drive you mad. Or maybe the voice will only predict your death over and over again. Of course this isn't the case though. It's a normal voice. Your ears receive it no matter what. And it's simply a matter of noticing. But there is a danger. For you see, where there is a voice, there is a body. And just like you will notice new sounds, so shall you notice new sights. More importantly, you will be noticed. I look into the night, and I know I'm in a trance. As my head turns to the right, I see the shadows dance. The voices keep on saying, do it, do it, die. I feel my skull expanding, at least I have to try. I can't take all the screaming on the balcony I knew. I feel like I am dreaming, but no dream is as real. I jump towards my death. I watch the ground get closer. As my bones rip through my flesh, I know my life is over. Now you've read my story, look out the corner of your eye. I'm screaming at you hoarsely. Do it. Do it. Die. Do you know about the monster under your bed? How it wasn't there when someone would look for it? Or was your monster behind the curtain, suddenly gone when you asked someone to check? Some of them used to hide in the closet, and like all of those monsters, were gone when someone else tried to find them. Now all of them are gone. No more monsters under your bed, behind your curtain, or in your closet. Now you are the one who looks for them, trying to find them on the internet thinking they have forgotten about you. That's not true, you know. All they used to do was figure out your nightmares. What did you used to be scared of? As soon as your monster found the answer, it would strengthen your fear before disappearing. Your strongest fear. Do you remember it? The irrational fear you couldn't explain to anyone else. It is all around you, you know. No matter what you fear, in every direction you run, you will find it. Back to the monster, forget your fear. The monster still exists, only now it is time for the next step. It needs to settle in your head. The easiest way to do this is through your eyes. Eyes are the windows to the mind and soul. Every respectable monster knows how to climb through a window, especially open windows, like your eyes are open now. Focusing on this screen, your eyes have been open for a while. You wanted to let the story seep in. But maybe other things have come in as well. Do you feel like something might have been staring back? Something sinister? I'm not saying it happened. But the next time you see something you're afraid of, remember, there is a lot about your brain you don't know. Maybe in there is a monster feeding on your fear. Waiting to become big enough to consume you. Thank you for opening your eyes to me.
Thank you for opening those beautiful windows of your soul to me.